What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, it's gonna be an exciting one. It's Battle of the Gymshark Leggings time. So guys, we are going to be ranking Gymshark's leggings. I have one legging from each of their collections. As listed on their site, I'm going based off of the nine collections they currently have. Got one legging from each of them. So I'm gonna start with my least favorite, talk about why, the pros, the cons, you know, and then move on up to my most favorite. So this is just my personal rankings, okay? This is just my personal opinions based off of my preferences. So by all means, if you have a different opinion, it's all good. In fact, comment down below and I wanna know how you're ranking them, okay? And let's chit chat about it, girl. Gymshark. But before we get into it, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make new videos on all things fitness every single week. So definitely hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. So how I'm ranking these, I'm keeping everything in mind, like aesthetic, functionality, the fit, the material, the price. Like I'm kind of just like gathering all that information and just coming up with a rating with it. So let's start with legging number nine. So starting with the least favorite of the bunch. You ready? It's none other than <laughs> the legacy. Not my favorite, clearly not. It's my least favorite legging in Gymshark history. Um, so here's why. A big thing I just despise is the fact that the sizing is so off, like it's unreal. I bought this in my size, what I normally am at all of Gymshark, and granted, they do tell you to size up on their website, and I'm just so used to adding the cart, like it's just like, just small, small, small all the time. And I will have my measurements linked below, mind you, I'm five foot three. And then I ended up getting the small and I can't even get it past my hips. So you're not gonna get to see any overlapping footage in this because I literally can't wear it. There's a lot of seams going on, okay? And they're not, for me, again, personally, you know, just my opinion, they're not the most flattering. It actually, from far away, looks very wrinkly. The band is not very large. I like a big band. The contoured seams just are in like the wrong like places. I don't know, and it's just too much of it. It looks like an overall just wrinkly legging. <laughs> Even if I did size up, I truly, truly believe that it would still be too small. You do have some stretch a little bit, but the material is just kind of more on the stiffer side. So it's not gonna give that like nice, like kind of look to your figure, you know? These panel leggings, um, I get it. Like that's the design they're going for, the panel look. Just not for me, all right? I just don't, mm. The Gymshark logo's half cut off. Yeah, I know they're going for that like super worn, like they don't care vibe, but I care because I want the whole legacy logo on it. So yeah, guys, these are bottom of the barrel for me and they're $45. And I, for me personally, I think they're definitely overpriced. Like 45, number eight. Are you ready? None other than the fit. So, Love the breakup, the band, love the band. I think that's such a cool look. But the fit's a little awkward. Like it dead ass feels like the whole legging is nice and tight. And then right up at the band is where they gave some, some loosey goosiness. You have the grip lining that I'm not a fan of, pulling on my back hair. It's super stretchy and it is comfortable but it almost has like this like rubbery, like plastic feel to it. That could just be me, but it doesn't fit quite, quite as well as their other pieces. This one has that mm, vibe to it. It's super low, so I'm not a fan of that either. Like I, I like high waisted. Even in like the crotchal region, it's just, there's a little too much of the bagginess going on. So it's unflattering, you know? The rest of it's nice and tight and stretchy. It's comfortable, don't get me wrong, but the fit is a little off for me and it's weird because it's called fit. Mm, gave me a little bit of that camel toe, believe it or not, even though it has that like seamless action going on. I still got a freaking camel toe in these. So I think if they came out, you know, did a few tweaks, made it high-waisted and stuff, I'd give it another go. But just the overall aesthetic of it is just low on the list. I'm pretty sure this is the cheapest legging they have at $35. And for me, I mean, for Gymshark, I guess that's reasonable. Me personally, I would like to see these at like 25. 
All right, guys, ranking in at number seven is the Speed Leggings. Pretty sure these are relatively new. These are a yoga type of legging, okay? Not something I would really go doing crazy like weightlifting in. I like it a lot. The fit really is great. The big kicker though is, again, the seams. The seams are not too shabby, not too shabby, but this ruined it. The under booty right here for me from far away looks like you're wearing a panty, like me, like you're seeing your underwear underneath. That kind of makes me feel a little just insecure all around. Like I don't want people to think I'm, you know, pull down my grandma pants for the day. Other than that, like the band's decent. It is buttery soft, second skin, but I just ain't vibing with that, you know? I know it's there to help pucker your butt up. I get it. And it does do that. But no panties here, all right? And I'd rather look like I'm wearing no underwear. These are rolling in at $50. Who am I to say? But I, 50 is a little steep. <laughs> I love the two double pockets it comes with. The look, the feel, like everything really is beautiful. Nice functionality, okay? Do your stretches, your yoga moves. Just can't get past that awkward seam under the bum. Okay, number six, rolling on in is none other than the Geo Seamless. What I love is that it comes in a cropped version, okay? Cause your girl really needs it. It's high-waisted, tummy control, nice compression. Overall, a great legging, okay? The reason why it's a little lower on the list is because of the design. I like it, but it's so in your face. <laughs> the digital look is so stand out-ish that it's not something I could see myself wearing every single day, unlike the other pieces. The other pieces are very versatile. You can mix and match, maybe. This is a standalone piece. <laughs> so I had to take that into consideration that I can't be wearing it every single day. And the fact that they don't really come in many colors as it is, you're super limited, all right? I love the fit. It reminds me of the energy and Seamless. It's got that kind of vibe, that fit. Overall, great compression. This rolls in at $50, and yeah, I mean, I could see it being a $50 legging, you know, like the quality is absolutely there. It's functional, and you could do virtually anything in it, so yeah, I mean, the price point is, is pretty accurate in my opinion, but you know, just can't wear it every day. <laughs> Rolling in at number five. Are you ready? Smack dab in the middle, girl. Woo! We're looking at the high-waisted flex. This collection comes in their regular fit and then they're high-waisted. And of course I went, you know, high-waisted girl is life. This is a little more of that like rougher texture, but the fit is still so damn good. <laughs> Makes my booty look all right. I really appreciate the like contouring here. It's like shaded block contour. And it's even got like that compression under the boot huh? So it really like emphasizes that booty and it kind of like helps bring it up. It's, it helps your butt get a little perky here. I love the dimension, the movement, the aesthetic's great and it's different. That's the thing, it's very different. It is definitely like a, like, here's my booty legging, like here it is. The contour does it all for this one. I rated it a number five because there's not that many color options, like there are other pieces that have a lot of options. Okay, I would like to see like one in every color high-waisted. The Gymshark on the back here is beautiful, okay? So that's a plus, like right on this big ribbed band, you got that smack dab Gymshark stamp of approval. So this is like the only high-waisted flex because it was so limited with their color options. You know what I'm saying? So like this is the only one I got, but I do love it. All right, I think my booty looks good, it's great. It's nice support. Like there's really not much to not like about it, I guess you can say. This baby's rolling in at $50. And I think that's fair, I would say. You know, I don't think it's a steal by any means, but I think it's, it's, it's fair because there is the, that quality here. You can feel the wickingness of this material. And even though it feels a little bit rougher than their other sets, the wear is incredible. All right, we're getting toasty in at number four the energy and seamless. When I first started wearing Gymshark, these used to be my favorite. These were my number one, okay? These were one of the first I've ever purchased, ever. So they'll always be dear to my heart. 
the high waist, the rib, the compression, the stretch, the wicking. There's so much to love. The, the movement, the contour, the subtle booty contour, but it's still there. And let's not forget all these holes we got going on, all that like knitted action, all right? So it is a very gorgeous, well put together, well thought out, unique piece of lagging. And it's unique because you see nothing but dupes all up and down the internet, so you know they did something right. The seamless, I mean, goes without say hello, I love you. But, a couple things. Number one, some of these energy and seamless, because I have quite a few options, like color options, some of them I've worn so much that the band has that freaking annoying lip to it. Yeah, where I squat down and it like recesses from your back and if somebody's right next to you, they're just gonna look down your leggings, girl. So, mm, another thing that irks me to freaking death, this is the one thing I just freaking can't stand, is the fact that their normal length leggings literally come down my leg and like almost to the end of my foot. That's how long they are. I'm five foot three. What? That's insanity. It's so long that like, I don't know what to do. My, the long length energy and seamless, I have to wear like socks over it to conceal it. So $55, man, okay. Okay, but I'd like to see you at like 50. <laughs> I think it's just uh, comes down to the fact that you're paying for this intricate design that they got going on here. You know, it takes a lot to make these little precision holes. Heavy duty, high quality, I love them. They rank in at number four. Ranking in at number three. Holy hell, you guys. Is this the, yes it is. It's the new freaking studio leggings. Y'all, okay. I will disclaimer right here. I haven't owned these long enough to see the wear. I am not sure if this band over time will end up like the energy and seamless. I can't give my honest opinion on that, all right? So maybe this could be subject to change a little bit, a little tweak here and there, who knows? But as of right now, they made it to number three for so many reasons. Although there's only like two color options in this set, I gotta say what makes up for it, there's a lot that makes up for it. I really am digging that like tribal contour. I think it's beautiful. It's different. The washed, that like vintage washed, like, like real, like almost like it's been out in the sun too much vibe. I don't know. I like that, the distressed look. Yeah, and I really love the length. It's one of the rare leggings that I'm obsessed with that actually comes up to a decent length. It even has like a little curvature, okay? It's feminine ankle. Also can't forget the fact that they got that line down the boot, hey, all right? That like new way of creating like that little bit of scrunch butt, but with a line instead, because it does have that effect on my bootay. It The line just hugs the material in between my crack and it uh, it accentuates my <laughs> bootay. These leggings are $50 and um, yeah, I'd pay 50 bucks all over again for sure. <laughs> I wanna get it in the blush color they have. So please restock Gymshark, I'm waiting. So uh, hello, new release. Making it to the top three? <laughs> Woo. Coming in at two, baby. Who can guess it? Who's already guessed it? The Vital Seamless. The Vital Baby made it to number two. Woo. So, absolutely love, first of all, it's softer than some of their other sets, okay, plus. The stretch, the fit, the the high waist, the compressive, like it's it's perfectly balanced, this legging. There's so many freaking colors in this collection that it makes it so easy to mix and match. <sighs> I mean, every color under the sun you can get, all right? Like, hell yeah, and they're always coming out with more. The high waist comes up to such a perfect height. It's not overly long at the bottom either. I don't have like a ton of material left over, like dope. The subtle contouring, it's very like unique. You have a lot of texture and different kinds of like details. I love this legging because it's just like a get stuff done legging. Like I just want to put it on, 
and just do my damn thing. I ain't here to do nothing else but my freaking workout right now. It's got that second skin like look, okay? I wouldn't say it's like feels like second skin necessarily, but looking at it on you, it's just kind of like, it fits like a glove, okay? It's just, like, just fits every crevice. So there's no like awkward bagginess anywhere. It is like your, your legging is painted onto your skin. $50 legging? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd say yeah. All right, it's worth it, the high qual. I've had these for quite some time and there's no tears, no nothing, all right? It's, it's got like that lightweight, thinner feel, okay? Than their other leggings. I noticed that the energy and the vital, especially, this is even worse than the energy, has that like stretched out look where I like bend down and, and it just like sticks out. I'm pretty sure it did that even before I overly stretched it out. I'm pretty sure it's kind of always had that look where the back of it kind of lips out. So that's why it's not number one, but man, is it freaking close. Vital, you can do anything I need you to do. I appreciate you. Gee, what could number one be? Pretty sure if you guys have been watching me for a while, you already know since the beginning of this video, you knew what number one would be, girl. <laughs> Camo! Girl, this is coming from somebody who actually doesn't even like camo print in general. I was never a fan of camo, but this legging made me the biggest camo fan in the freaking world. This legging changed my life, wow. <laughs> Is that like a statement or what? But it, no, it has, man. It changed my lower body day game like no other because I finally feel confident to the max. These leggings do it all. So glad they're coming out with new colors. Thank you. High-waisted, ribbed, subtle compression. Not, not, not totally high compressive. It's not smooshing anything in but it's not like loose, it's comfortable. It's a the happy medium. It's not buttery soft, but it ain't too rough. It's a nice durable, mmm. The stretch is there. The golden ticket is that subtle freaking scrunch butt that you see smack dab in the middle right there. This is my world, bro. Like it, the way Gymshark made a scrunch is the most subtle, way <laughs> it is perfection like it is that big the scrunch just that big it's not going down your whole thing it's just that big that's all you need it makes a girl like me whose whose booty does not grab material for the life of it and it, it makes me look like i got some big glutes <laughs> so yes you can thank these three inches right here for making this legging to the number one spot congratulations <laughs> it is like the perfect leg day legging okay if you want to feel ultra confident the band stays put it don't go nowhere don't live out it's just a real hugger this legging okay in all the right places honestly i can't even think of something bad to say about it these are the most expensive Gymshark leggings, rolling at $60 but guess what girl okay if i'm being real with you i'd spend like 80 oh yeah I said it. This is coming from a girl who's kind of frugal sometimes. So yeah, worth it? I think so. Woo! All right, girl, that was it. That was the Battle of the Gymshark leggings. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Again, comment down below like how you would rank these. I find it so cool and interesting to talk about Gymshark, our views, you know, what we think about these pieces. So comment down below. And again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for new videos every single week on all things fitness. Stay tuned because a lot more Gymshark videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.